CataractCoach.com. I chopped it, but I can't bring the heminucleus up. Why am I struggling to bring up this heminucleus after a phaco chop? Let me show you the case here. I'm going to start off with the rexus. Obviously, incision's already been done here. We're going to get a nice normal rexus. So the issue is not a baby rexus or anything of that nature. So we'll get a nice 5 millimeter rexus going on here. We'll get good hydro dissection. But you'll see I'm going to have a little struggle here. I'm going to try to chop that nucleus, and we'll get it looks like a pretty good chop. But I won't be able to easily bring up a heminucleus. So let me show you what we do to uh, take that into consideration and then how we resolve that issue. So here comes the hydro dissection. So again, this is not the issue either. As you'll see, it's good hydro dissection. There's fluid wave, another fluid wave. Looks pretty good. Look how I lose viscoelastic from the main incision. So let's tap down the nucleus. Let's see, does it spin? Hey, if it does not spin, you will not win. But hey, this is definitely spinning. We like it. So now going with the Pro, bevel down. Watch carefully. Here comes the chop. And take that bubble out so we can have a nice video. And buzz into the nucleus. Good. And then place the chopper, combo chop, and split it. There you go. Propagate that through. And now I'm using the left-hand chopper to hold a piece, the one heminucleus away, while the right hand tries to bring up one heminucleus. Didn't work. So I'll try the other piece. Let me I'll go on this side then. So there you go. All right. Well, there's two halves, right? So let's rotate it around again. Maybe I'll try a fresh corner here. So I'm going to rotate it around again. Let's get this corner. And maybe I can just aspirate there, buzz it in just a little bit, and bring it up. Ugh, it doesn't want to come up. Try again. What's the issue here? Well, the two heminucleus pieces are not fully split. They're still attached at the bottom. I think the uh, chop prop get through, but now look, I'm going to spend some time. Let's make sure these halves are really split. So the most common cause of you not being able to bring up a nuclear piece or a nuclear half is that you didn't fully separate the pieces. You didn't propagate the chop all the way through. Once I get that chop propagated, it's going to be a lot easier to bring the piece up. So watch, it's not propagated. There, that's the last sticking point there in the center there of the posterior aspect. So now it's two fully distinct halves. And now what? It's easy to bring them up. So I'll go into them again, and now the half comes up. So that was the issue. So it looked like the chop was all the way through. It looked like we propagated the chop completely. But in fact, there was still some adhesion between the two halves at the bottom of the chop, so the very posterior central aspect of the nucleus. So now it's much easier. Now one half's already gone. We can just rotate this a little bit. Let's get the other half up. And then, of course, you can sub-chop it if you need to or just emulsify it, and that's pretty easy. So keep this in mind. If you're chopping a nucleus and you've got pieces, either two halves or four quadrants, and you just can't bring them up, oftentimes the issue is not your phaco parameters because you've already been using those all day and they work just fine. It's typically that the uh, pieces aren't fully separated. The chops that you did weren't fully propagated, and you don't have distinct nuclear halves like in this case. And that's why it was so difficult for me to bring it up. So then I bring them up, and then the rest of the case is pretty easy. Nice, straightforward, routine case here. No, nothing else out of the ordinary. And we'll clean up here the cortex, and I'll show you at the very end that the uh, rexus is a good size. We'll compare it to the eyewall optic, which, of course, in this case is going to be a 6-millimeter optic. So it's very easy to judge the rexus size. Now, are there other issues, too? Yeah, listen, if you don't have great settings... Let's say you have too much vacuum and the nucleus is too soft and you try to vacuum through it and it just goes right through the piece, right? So sometimes you have that crumbly nucleus, that one that's too soft, it's a little bit hard to get up. That can be an issue too. If for some reason the fluidic settings aren't appropriate, you don't have enough vacuum holding power, it can be tough to bring the pieces up out of the capture bag. Sometimes if you have like, you know, loose connection on your, sle on your sleeves, on your tubing, your aspiration tube on your handpiece is not fully tightened in there and you have a little bit of leak, that could be an issue. So there are other issues as well that could contribute to this. Here you can see we're getting that uh, single piece of acrylic lens in the bag. That looks great. And we'll get that dialed in and you'll see it's a good size. So keep this in mind. If you have a patient where you chop that nucleus but you can't bring a piece up, I bet you the pieces aren't fully separated. Thanks for watching.